Welcome back to the show, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Besides coatings and paint correction, we also offer paint protection film, self-healing film to our customers to protect against rock chips. It also happens to be the ultimate protection for paint. We like to bulk. You can also use kits. Uh, I'm going to give you a basic introductory within the next two uh, videos and then get a little bit more advanced and introduce some of the other installers in the industry as well. So some of the tools, uh, microfiber towels, low nap towels with no lint, uh, the heat guns here. Uh, you can wear a tool belt if you like to. I don't like to wear them all the time. Um, also, the detail keg, which I just did a video on. I'll put a link uh, where you can follow and watch that video. Um, cutting materials to cut the film to length. Also, the triple M grab here. I'll put a link down below. This stuff is excellent for edges and really any area you want to keep it laying down so it doesn't pull back up or pop up again. A bunch of different squeegees. Uh, plastic ones, rubber ones, softer ones, uh, firm. The firm ones you can also wrap felt or materials around the edges to keep from marring the film. Um, and there are many different types, shapes, and sizes of squeegees to get the job done. In the letterings and the recesses of panels, this squeegee here cleans off panels and I'll show you that in a bit. You also want to have a nice collection of sharp knives that you can snap off quite frequently because you want to have that uh, uh, the edge and the uh, cutting portion of the knife nice and sharp and fresh and ready to go. We also keep a couple hypodermic, the U100 uh, needles around to draw moisture or air bubbles if they're caught too late and you can't pull the film back up again. And we'll get into that later. You also um, would need some uh, baby shampoo and alcohol. I'll show you exactly how to mix those uh, slip and tack solutions, uh, how we do anyways. It, it's Everybody has their own uh, mixture and formula. Also, a couple coffee makers to keep hot water around or a water machine that has the hot water attachment to it. Also, a uh, plexiglass or whiteboard, also recommended, especially if you do films. That'll hold on to the film until you're ready to take it to the panel. Uh, filtration system, very, very important to keep uh, contaminants, especially dust and uh, lint from falling onto the panel and getting stuck between the film and the panel itself. We have a double filter system right off of the furnace and right here coming out of the vents themselves. Also, keep your shop clean and get it clean, as clean as possible, before you bring that car. We back everything out and remove everything from the bays, sweep it, mop it, wet it down, squeegee, and miss the floors again. Puppy has to stay in jail here in the office until we're done. She is not enthusiastic about that at all. We grab the lint rollers uh, to remove any hair or lint or anything from our clothes and our person so we don't get that again stuck between the panel and the film. When it comes to our solutions we like to have water sometimes we'll use that instead of slip solution our slip solution tack solutions you can have gel if you want to many ways to go about it there's no wrong answer uh, when it comes to a container like this depressurize it take off the top pump five drops of the baby shampoo into the container the rest with hot water mix that up and that's ready to go that's that's what will go uh, between the film and the panel so the film can float and stay up away from the panel and not tack itself. You want to keep that free until you have it perfectly lined up and where you want it to go. We'll get into this more in the second video, but I like to use more of the slip solution than the tack. As much slip and as little as tack as possible, just in case you need to lift the film to go after contaminants or maybe realign, and it won't distort the adhesive on the film. We'll get into that more. When it comes to the tack solution, this is what will get the, it'll flush out the slip solution so you can get the adhesive to tack to the panel and get the film to stick. And this is just a 5 to 1 ratio. Again, everybody has their own solution that works for them. This is what works for us. No weaker, no stronger.
And we're good to go when it comes to solutions. You want to have the heat turned up nice and warm in the shop. We also like to put the solutions, if they cool down, back into an oversized microwave from two to five minutes and get that water nice and toasty. It keeps, what it does, guys, is it keeps the film pliable. It keeps it easier to work with. Uh, everything seems to just work so much better with the warm water. The detail keg, we'll have to get that ready to go soon as well. When it comes to the car or the panels itself, we're just going to use the panel for this demonstration and the first two videos. We'll do it on uh, a car and a real installation later, but you can go as far as you really want to when it comes to disassembly. That means removing parts so you don't show the film lines. Some go uh, extremely far with this assembly. Those are the real high-end cars and high-paying uh, packages where they don't want the lines. On some of the daily drivers, they're not concerned with that. They just want protection, as much protection as possible. Uh, we do a minor disassembly. That means some trim, uh, some headlights, taillights, uh, maybe some markers, uh, some badges, and stuff like that. And then there are some that do not want to do any disassembly at all. Well, then you just want to stick to the kits. That's perfectly fine. So prepping the panel is huge. It's important, especially the claying part to denib it and remove any decontaminants that are stuck to the paint because all of that will uh, be magnified under the film. After a polish, and we like to correct, I'm going to show you in some of the later videos that film will hide a lot, but we like to perfect the paint underneath. It really gives a, a great a deep glossy look to the surface but we'll show you that what I like to do after the correction is follow up with a few um, different panel wipes so maybe two or three times we'll do a wipe down to make sure that that clear coat is naked also clean around all of the edges and underneath where you're gonna tuck the film if you are tucking it to make sure that the film has no dirt or contaminant that it'll stick to and it'll stick properly to the panel and the painted surface. I'll then follow that up with going around with the Triple M grab. And what that does is that's also a prep and it kind of promotes the adhesive to really stick. Not quite as uh, strong as some of the adhesive promoters out there like 3M, which I do not recommend unless you're just gonna use a very tiny, tiny dab in a problem area. Okay, time to prepare for the rollout of the film. We're doing a bulk installation, which means no kit. So we're going to have to measure and cut. And this can be a waste, a waste of film. Some do, li do not like bulk applications because it wastes so much film. Just being careful, taking measure measurements and tying everything together as close as you can maybe trying to figure out uh, what you could use the excess film for, which is what we'll do. We will tag it, put it in a box, and use it later. But we're going we're gonna to unroll the film onto these tables here, and no matter how clean you are, clean those tables before you unroll the film. It's always best um, to keep the film in a box, but if you have them out in a roll like I do, roll out the film and clean that again as well. Let's take our measurements of what we're going to cover, mark, and cut the film.
So here's the excess, which would work perfectly for maybe a headlight or a mirror. We'll get into that again in some future videos. I'll just roll that up, tape it, tag it, put it away for later. For those watching this that do this and have a ton of experiences and you have other tips for those out there that may want to look into this or maybe some advice, please leave it down in the comment section. Listen, I welcome all of your opinions. I appreciate them all as well. And uh, yeah, leave them down in the comment section and share for all of us. Once again, working with film, I'll use these short nap microfibers. Uh, they're like micro suede, no lint whatsoever. Flexi Shield does have them. I'll try to remember to put a, a link down below. But now that, again, it's best to keep the film in a box, keep it nice and clean if you can. If you have yours out in the open, like we have some of our rolls uh, to bulk, clean both sides. It's all about contaminant control, and even when we're at our, uh, our, our carefulest, and, and our cleanest as we can be and everything we can think of still sometimes there are contaminants that we need to lift that film back up and go after it and I'll show you exactly how to do that without introducing more contaminants to the area so be clean if you don't have a clean shop I wouldn't get into it also we want to clean the if you have plexiglass or the whiteboard that we have here clean that off that's what we're going to that's what we will attach the film to and we until we're ready to carry it over from the board itself to the panel, we want to be as quick as possible, again, to cut down on contaminants. All right, that's clean, so we'll bring the clean film over and uh, we'll string it up here. I like to use this to peel the sheathing or backing. Uh, some of the rolls just have a little bit of backing. Some have a backing and a protective sheath on top of it. This will help you peel both if you're doing it by yourself. Now it's time to get the detail kit ready. Again, I have a video designated just for that. I'll try to have a link somewhere where you can follow and it's a great tool to have if you do film or you could really incorporate this into other chores in your detailing arsenal. We'll pump in a good 20, 30 pounds, get some pressure build up in the keg, and then it's time to start squeegeeing the panel that we want to start with. The panel's clean, but it's been sitting there for, even if it's a couple minutes, we've had contaminants that are floating through the air that land on it, and you want to squeegee it down using the slit solution. Yes, running a squeegee uh, across freshly uh, corrected paint, especially soft clear, does make me wince, but we're going to talk about scratching and film. It's more important to do this and keep contaminants off than it is to worry about anything else. That will do for this first video. Many to come. I know some of you are interested in the industry, so I'll bring you as much information as I can. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.